<coughs> uh, so hello in this video uh, we'll look at a summary on uh, um, uh, respiration now I sent a video that was talking about uh, respiration and I hope that you all viewed the video so let's just look at the summary of respiration Now, we know that a, a respiration is an internal process. That's what we, we need to know. It's an internal process that takes place in the cells of living organisms. Of living organisms. So it takes place in the cells. For example, the muscle cell and other type of cells that are found in the body. Now, this respiration for it to occur, food, what we call glucose, must be present. This glucose, when combined with oxygen, the glucose is broken down to form energy. Now, this amount of energy depends on which type of respiration it is. Aerobic respiration produces a, a quite a lot of uh, Energy as compared to an aerobic because aerobic uh, requires oxygen while an aerobic does not require oxygen. Now, this of course will give you carbon dioxide, water, and water, some form of energy there. Now, we have two types of respiration we have the, um, the internal. And the external. Under the internal, we have two types again that is aerobic respiration and an aerobic respiration. Under external, we only have gaseous exchange and the breathing. And our main focus is under internal respiration that has got aerobic and anaerobic. Now, when we talk of aerobic, we said this requires oxygen. Aerobic requires oxygen. That means it releases large amount of energy. Now, when we talk of an aerobic, an aerobic does not require any, uh, does not require oxygen. That means the glucose is just broken down by enzymes and other factors in order to produce a certain amount of energy. Now, because there's no oxygen involved, it releases less amount of what? Of energy. Now, anaerobic respiration, an aerobic respiration, is further divided into two. Where we have alcoholic fermentation and lactic. Fermentation. Alcoholic fermentation is a type of uh, anaerobic uh, uh, respiration that produces alcohol and mainly it occurs in plants. Now, when glucose has been broken down, all right, it forms some form of what? Some form of alcohol in the end. Now, because there is no oxygen available, it is accompanied by the enzyme known as zymase, which contributes to the breakdown of glucose to form carbon dioxide and alcohol plus some form of energy. 
but lactic fermentation it occurs in animals and it also takes place in the absence of what of oxygen now because it is a lactic fermentation it produces lactic acid that means when glucose is broken down it produces lactic energy lactic acid sorry plus energy so that is our summary on uh, respiration types of respiration and categories of respiration